Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to decorate in a cheap and inexpensive way. Cheap but nice looking I think, you know, so really um, nice and elegant. So uh, the first project you'll need a beer bottle. I, uh, you guys have seen me, those of you that have seen my other videos, you've seen me um, featuring this, vi this bottle on another video which I ended up keeping. Um, you'll need a bottle and a beer bottle and you'll need a taper candle for this project. And then for the other project, um, you'll need a real pillar candle. Um, I've chosen a black one, and you'll need a um, a taper, a tea light candle. And this is fake, so um, you it has like the off and on button. So, okay. So for the first project that I'm going to show you guys, you get a beer bottle. Um, I don't know if you could find a specific bottle in your areas, but if you can't, you could still go to it like your um, like your local liquor store or even 7-Eleven and they have beer bottles some of them look like really cool some of them have like skeletons on them pirates pumpkins even vampires so um, that would be nice like you know you could maybe buy four or just have like a variety so you could have a, a nice variety obviously you can't like you know this is not fitting in here so what I need to do, I need to shave this candle down. Okay, so I have shaved down the candle for you guys. So I'm basically done with my first project. And this is what I did. Um, see, the candle is actually white, but they just coated it with this black um, color. So I basically shave it, shaved it down so you could fit the, uh, uh, the bottle. But I suggest kind of like make, maybe make this part longer. So like it could fit in the bottle like tightly so like that you don't have any accidents just in case if it tilts it's not going to like fall out or whatever. So this is what I did. So I shaved it down enough just to show you guys. And you kind of like just like um, screw it in tightly. And there you go. And I think this is really cool. So that's one project. Okay, so the next project I'm going to show you guys is another candle project. So like I said earlier, you'll need this pillar candle. I opted for black. You could choose any color. Red, black would be preferable, even uh, maybe even purple. And you'll need a fake tea light candle. And I don't know if you guys have, those of you that have bought stuff like these, these, these are really, ex I mean, not really expensive, but they're way more expensive than something like this. This could cost you like at least $12 versus something like maybe let's say maybe you could buy this for well this was actually like it says here this, this was actually four ninety nine five dollars and this was like I don't know seventy five cents or something or fifty cents so that's um, that's almost a half of the cost of something like this but these can maybe even reach like sixteen dollars or something this I think I happen to pay like twelve dollars for it at Michaels I don't really use it much they reason why I bought it was because um, I don't know I just wanted to see how they were but it's it's nice but I wouldn't pay a lot for that one I could actually do it myself here so um, I'll show you guys right now so what I'm going to do I'm just going to be measuring um, I'm going to be cutting out a hole in this candle which will fit this um, this uh, tea light inside perfectly and you'll need a knife like I, I use the same knife to shave down the other um, taper candle so I'm going to make the hole right now so and then I'll show you guys um, when I'm done with it okay so guys I'm finally done with the second project and this is the end product and um, my candle broke so I had to use wax there was this thing called museum wax so I used it to reseal my um, my candle my pillar candle and the reason why it broke because I was rushing it um, just with enough patience you could actually make it nicer looking and um, and the candles actually have two layers because mind you this is my first time ever trying it I was seeing if I, it would actually work out I was just thinking about it so um and it actually did work out and kind of and kind of not just because it broke and um, so the candle has like this inner soft layer and the outer hard shell which is what collapsed I think because I was putting so much pressure on it and I, I guess I was rushing it and I found it easier to like heat up your knife while doing it and then kind of like um, put, put it in and then just kind of like ease your way in and make like a little circle and until like you kind of get deeper and then you, you keep trying to see if the, 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 um, 
the, the, the tea light works and I kind of melted it down using just a lighter and it gives like a nicer effect I think it looks more authentic like that and um, and I used um, nail polish to kind of color my candle black I didn't finish as you could see it's just a half hazard job so this project is basically good for people who are afraid to use real candles like you know they don't want like you know any accidents going on because like the last thing we want anybody to have is like a, a fire in their home so this is a nice alternative so you could remove it you could remove the tea light and use it over and over again and you never have to throw away your candle and um, and then it's so much cheaper versus this because this it uses like six um, batteries I think versus this it, it uses like those cheap little batteries and this is twelve dollars and this is like six dollars let's say it's like half the price for this and I just think this is much nicer. I don't know. I mean, not because I did it, but it just from what I'm seeing, it looks more authentic. It just looks nicer versus this. It just looks plain, I think. So there you go. I hope you guys like this um, project. I hope you got some ideas from it. And like I said, it just requires a little patience and more time. And you should be having like a nicer candle than mine. But I think I did okay for a, like you know for a first time job. So there you go. My um, suggestions for inexpensive decorating and it looks nice I think and to top it off um, I wrapped it to using this tray to as a presentation it's just a black tray I got from um, Target last year and I'm just putting this purple napkin in there so that when this one melts it's just going to melt on the um, on the napkin and not on my tray so I think that makes like a nice little presentation. So at the end of this video, I'm going to put the presentation so you guys could see how it came out. Take care. Bye.